Chapter 16. Lock the door, here come the undead. Now let me start this by saying that I wasn't A, drunk, B, hallucinating, or C, on any decent strength flu medication when this event happened. It also had nothing to do with this town's recent Youth Week activities, nor Halloween, nor any kind of flash mob activity. But honestly, I swear on a stack of Vicar of Dibley episodes that what I saw was true. The other day, I drove past a pair of real-life hitchhiking zombies. I kid you not. His face looked like Frankenstein's monster's punching bag after a particularly stressful day at work, while hers would make a horrid banshee look like Elle McPherson. And they both had that grey-skinned look of when your liver takes long service leave and decides to never come back. Okay, okay, maybe they were just a pair of well-worn drinkers. With more than a couple of master's degrees in alcohol absorption each, they were stumbling around near the gold mines, which is a local drinking establishment after all. But in the brief moment of first seeing them, and then planting the foot to set a new land speed record to get out of there, they sure looked like zombies. They shambled across the footpath, like zombies. They had the glazed look and open mouth moan of a zombie. While their clothes weren't covered in gore or bits of someone else's brain, they weren't well-dressed zombies. If I had the windows down, I'm sure they'd both smell like something had died. Horribly. And when he, incredibly slowly, like he was a zombie actually coming to think of it, put out his thumb, I was sure it was about to come flying off. As I looked in the rearview mirror while driving past them, I swear the female of the pair looked at me like I was a well-roasted leg of lamb fresh out of the oven complete with baked potatoes and roasted pumpkin. Or maybe there was a drop of beer on her lips that she missed before, and that's what caused her to lick them all of a sudden. Now, while there was no story of the pair in the next day's news, and the journalist I worked with gave me an incredibly blank look when I asked if there was any news of people heading to emergency with human-looking bite marks overnight, I have seen enough zombie movies to know that society usually ignores any and all warning signs until it's too late. Which means it's highly likely that an outbreak of zombieism is more than likely on its way. So if anyone needs me, I'll be busy in the shed, armouring up the family car and stocking up on canned food just in case.